So everyone knows when you're trying to export for web and your game is supposed to look epic like this one. But when your game is fully built and you upload it to itch, it just doesn't load. Or sometimes there's completely game breaking bugs that weren't even there in the Unity editor. Now in this super quick tutorial, I'm going to tell you exactly how to fix this and it's very easy. You just have to change a few settings in the Unity editor itself. Now what you want to do is go to file and build settings. After that, you hit player settings, make sure that you are clicked on WebGL. And once you are sure that there are no bugs and everything is all right, then click on other settings and make sure that all of these settings are just like this. Make light map encoding, normal quality or high quality. Scroll down. Uncheck strip engine code and also make manage stripping level to low. Also, Vertex Compression, change that to None. Also, uncheck Optimize Mesh Data. After you're done with that, then click on Publishing Settings, and then change the compression format to Disabled. After that, you can X out of Project Settings, and then you can build your game and submit it to itch.io. Make sure that when you do so, you put it into a .zip file, otherwise it will not play and it will not work. And in itch.io, you have to click the check mark next to the file that says this will play in the browser. Now, that's basically the whole video. And right now, I'm going to tell you why sometimes that would break your game. What those options did was increase performance and lower the size of the game to be loaded into someone's browser by compressing the files. Although, I don't know why this is still in Unity and everything, but a lot of the time for people, it would completely break their game because it would compress too far or incorrectly. So you just need to disable the compression, which for me doesn't actually seemingly change anything about the game badly. And it would actually increase the quality because the files would be less compressed. Also, do keep in mind that if you have a large game, then there's a possibility that it's not playable in the browser at all. Your browser can only use up a certain amount of memory, and it's difficult for it to play large games. Thanks for watching this very short tutorial. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and share it with anybody who has had this problem before. I'll see you in the next video.